Good morning. It is 7.59 right now. And I am headed downstairs to go to the gym and really just kind of relax my mind. I woke up to bad news this morning. The AM class, two people got sent home for failing their third KSV. Uh, I just, I hate the bad news like especially at the start of the day it's it's not fun to wake up to or that be the first thing that you know in the morning that's the truly sucky thing about being in the p.m. class because then now we have until 2 30 to sit around and worry or whatever however you want to deal with it but it freaks me out y'all like it really really does and one of the guys that got sent home, like, I was just talking to him yesterday about, you know, everywhere he wants to go and fly and see and take his girlfriend. And now those dreams are out the window for now. It just sucks. Like, it genuinely sucks because we have, today is the 14th, I think, or 13th, something like that. I don't really know. Um, we only have like 12, no, nine, nine days of class left and you're losing your footing at the end. Like that just sucks. So I'm going to go read my fam over the stuff that we're being tested on today and just kind of work out to just relax me a little bit. So hopefully everything goes good today. <laughs> Trying to be productive in the computer lab and hear these things come. Like, why they got a post up right here in front of the window that I'm sitting by? They know they freak me out. Like, and it's just the two of them. Like, where do they live? Where do they come from? Look at it, just picking. So you would think by now that I would be used to these KSVs. It's number eight and nothing changes. I go through the same emotions before every KSV. I freak out, I get anxious, I worry, I hear about people that failed and got kicked out of training. But I'm trying to calm my nerves right now because I'm like, I do the same thing every time. I read, I study, I read and I study it and I pass, so I'm just trying to calm myself down, but they're saying this test is a little difficult. Um, they ask a lot of specific questions on how to use the emergency equipment, and so I'm just gonna do what I've always been doing. So I'm gonna, maybe, it's 12.30, I'm text message, maybe I will, um, go get lunch first and then go to class and sit down um, and study again. I don't usually do that, but I don't know why I'm feeling a little paranoid right now about this one. But wish me luck, y'all. Hey, 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 What's up? Mm, 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 mm. I have been so anxious for this day to end to get back to my camera so I could talk to y'all. Today was like... Today was such a good day. Like, where do I start? I guess I'll just start with the beginning of the day. So I think I told y'all that I woke up to bad news about two people being sent home from the AM class, which is still very sad. Um, one girl was high spirited though. She said she'll be back next year. So that's, that's good for her. Um, I didn't get to talk to the other guy before he left. Um, but I went into that test just like, oh my gosh, you know, like this test is sending people home. Just, you know, thinking of all the what ifs and what could be's and all of that. So, went and took the test and I don't know if I told y'all, but I probably have told y'all, but before every single test, I just make sure that I pray. Um, and my prayer is, is just for God to clear my mind of everything in the moment that doesn't have to do with the test, allow the knowledge that I've 
um, been studying to come forward if it's truly something that I do not know allow my common sense to kick in and you know just stuff but that is some you know something around that and that's just the, the prayer that I say um, before every KSV and MSV so I said my prayer and a few questions came up and I was like mm. I remembered everything that I read but you know this test was it wasn't really tricky it was just very wordy and tests that have a lot of words boy oh boy um, but long story short I got a hundred I was ecstatic like not that it matters because you know here you're not getting a GPA you're not getting an overall grade like as long as you pass the test with an 80 you're good but I was just so freaking happy I was like oh my god because there was like a few questions that I was just like mm, I don't know if that's the right answer but I got my hundred so it just started you know it just rejuvenated the day basically after that little bit of bad news this morning then I got the hundred on my test so that was that was awesome I was just made me just so darn happy now I'm just like okay three more KSBs to go three more three more. so yeah I was just really ecstatic about that like just happy so then we um what did we do I don't know my mind goes blank uh, oh so then today we didn't have any sit-down classroom time. Oh, so happy. We were on the simulators today for majority of the day. So first we started off with learning how to work a fire extinguisher and put out a fire. I told y'all I was so happy about doing that for whatever reason. So we finally did it today. It was so cool. We put on the PBEs and we got the big old Halon fire extinguishers and put out fires. So we did that and then we did um, we got on the planes and did simulators um, for emergency situations on the plane so then um, so we did different fire situations on the plane different type of fires where they come from the process of putting them out you know how you know what type of fire it is it is etc etc that's what my MSV is on tomorrow we also did decompression which is so scary like decompression is where you lose um, um, you go to a certain altitude and you start losing air out of plane you got to get on the oxygen mask and then no the plane does a nose dive so you can get way down to the ground and get regular air and all of that stuff so we had that on the simulators today and we had to act that out that was scary <laughs> um, but I enjoyed it and then we did um, turbulence and inc uh, customers or crew members that um, could possibly, you know, incapacitate it or whatever. So, yeah, that's what we learned today. So it was a good day. It was the shortest day we've had since we've gotten here, since June 28th. Shortest day we had. Class started at 2.30 today, no, 2 p.m. today. And we were done by 9 p.m. I was like, what? Thank you, gosh. So, but the best part of today, I'm so excited to show y'all. We got our uniforms. Oh my God. I'm going to show y'all. I'm not going to try them on. I already did that. <laughs> I'm just going to show y'all what we got. So, and if y'all can't tell by now, y'all will definitely be able to tell what airline I am training for. By looking at the uniforms so well first let me show you we got a roller board this is a travel pro I believe it's a 21 inch yeah 21 inch roller board so we got that um, we got our winter and rain coat today Cute. It's nicely insulated on the inside. It's nice. Uh -oh. We have a belt. This goes with our dresses and tunic tops. Um, 
we were able to pick two scarves. So I got this one and this one. Um, some basic shirts, a short sleeve version and a long sleeve version. And these are actually really comfortable. Our famous dress. Oh my God, I cannot wait to like be strutting in the airport in this. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Um, and then we got a skirt. It was cute in the back. It has like little pleats and stuff, but it sits so perfectly on. It fits me really well. Um, the pants, it's just a basic pant. And then we have our jacket to go with it. And an apron. <laughs> oh gosh. So that just made me really happy today. So if you're wondering, with my airline, we do not have to pay for any of that. Those are all pieces that the airline gives us. We don't pay out of pocket. It's not payroll deducted, any of that. The roller board, the jacket, and all these uniform pieces are given to us. Um, the first and second day of orientation, we go through and pick if we want pant or skirt or both or whatever, what sizes and things like that, and then we get them today. So there are other pieces in our uniform store that do not come in just the allotted stuff that they give us that we can buy. There are a few tops that I want to buy, so I'll probably do that. But that's really, that saves us so much money because I know like some airlines, I believe it's United, I think, they payroll deduct like a couple hundred dollars, you know, for uniform and roller boards. Um, I'm not really sure about how everybody else works. I'm sure some places give you certain things free and then other things you have to pay for as well. But this is really good because this roller board by itself is a good $100 or, or more than that. You know, that coat. Some of these pieces I was looking on the online store. This blazer was like $80. So this is a good amount of stuff, a good amount of money that I didn't have to spend. So... I mean, I've said it before. I'm just really grateful for the airline that that I chose and that chose me back. Um, they do some really, really awesome stuff for us. And the people around here are just so genuine and so gracious. And, you know, just it has like a little family feel. And I'm not saying that this airline is perfect. You know, I'm sure they have things that you know going on behind the scenes that may not be great that great or not you know there's a few bad apples here and there but for the most part this beginning experience has truly been amazing and awesome and just knowing that your instructors are here to support you the people that work in the lodge are here to support you um i have a pilot that's in the room across the hallway from me He's very supportive. You know, you just walk past people every day and, you know, they might they might not be training for the same thing as you are in that moment, but everybody knows, you know, a little bit of what you're going through and, you know, just have very kind words to say. Um, so that's just, that's awesome. Um, and then, I don't know if I told y'all, but we got a new in-flight training class that came in on Tuesday. Um... So I just met two girls and they were really sweet. So they were just kind of asking me, you know, how to prepare for, you know, the, the flight attendant training and things like that. So I was talking to them for like an hour. Um, and I just gave it to them real like I give it to y'all. Just do what you got to do. Stay focused. Study. Sleep. Because y'all know I do that. Eat. Work out a little bit. And just do what you got to do to get through. But... That's all I really got for tonight, y'all. This will probably be the end of this vlog because all this energy, I'm like a ball of energy. Like, this day just really got me excited. So, I'm just really looking forward to my new life journey. Um, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around the fact that I'm going to be 
pretty much I don't like to use the word living in New York City because I am from Houston, Texas, and I will always be a Houstonian, and that will always be my permanent address. Please, New York can miss me with that. But <laughs> I will be experiencing a fall and winter there, which I'm really looking forward to. You know, it's just, just something different. It's time to, to experience different things. So that's what this lifestyle can bring you after you go through all the the hell of trying to pass training. You know, once you get your wings, um, hopefully it'll be amazing. That's, yeah, that's all I got. Subscribe, like, share, ding the bell. Bye. Oh, girl. Oh.